I'll, I'll start. Why don't you start? Good. I'll, I'll start. pick up on it. All right. Either one of us. Got to unpack all this. We do have to unpack yeah. all this. Uh, and actually, um, Commissioner Newsom, I took to heart, I think, your um, mm. guidance to all of us um, a few months ago, and that is, um, you know, we have to be the stewards of fact with respect to how we move forward. And, um, you know, these are not easy issues. Uh, I have, um, I did take time to visit Diablo Canyon Power Plant and uh, had an opportunity to really understand the operation and to meet some of the employees. Uh, and first, I just have to say, um, hats off to you for 40 years of reliable service and professional service. It is um, something that we don't applaud, frankly, uh, in terms of how we, where we've come uh, since the uh, plant was uh, first constructed. But uh, I also was um, <clears throat> struck by how uh, safety is by far the for for foremost concern at, in that facility, from every aspect of the operation to every conversation that I have with every employee on that site. Uh, it all had to do with uh, safety and reliability. And what I want to say about the CEQA issue is this. Um, you know, I think we live in times where there, we're just surrounded by a lot of uncertainty. And I do think we've heard a lot of speculation. I'm not sure that I'm comfortable that I've heard a lot of facts. Um, my own sense of you know, the authority that this commission can exercise independently is that um, the, uh, the uh, facts are not there. And frankly, I feel like if they were there, we would have grabbed onto them already. And so um, I know we live in dangerous times with respect to seismic risk. This is a different world with respect to being more susceptible to terrorism and acts of terrorism. But we also have, um, I think, a responsibility here to balance all of these different interests and needs. And uh, you know, with respect to the issue of the uh, marine life and um, what we can expect if um, the commission decides to approve these leases. Uh, I do want to say that you know a lot of work has actually been done at the State Water Resources Control Board with respect to mitigation measures um, to ensure compliance with the once through cooling policy. And uh, I think um, if this commission is prepared to uh, approve the leases, I would like to direct staff to um, just call on the Water Resources Control Board to remind them that uh, we do want them to um, fully implement those mitigation measures to ensure compliance. These are not new requirements. These have been established. Uh, I think people are familiar with what they are. All parties are familiar with what they are. Uh, but this is about um, really all state agencies, all hands on deck to be sure that we're, we're moving forward responsibly. And there are going to be a lot of agencies, state and federal and local, involved uh, in the transition uh, should this commission approve the leases um, to look at what will transpire over the next nine years. Um, the other aspect I just want to comment about is that um, I really encourage PG&E and frankly all of the uh, regulatory agencies and oversight agencies throughout this process to um, err on the side of uh, more public input. Um, I heard a lot of information today that frankly was um, shared um, really out of ignorance. And there is a lot of uh, misinformation going back and forth. This is not the time for that. And I think uh, I just want to get a commitment from PG&E that uh, in terms of the public input process in the next 30 days, that uh, it will also include public education and really um, having the patience to answer any and all questions with respect to what we're really facing uh, in this uh, agreement that you have entered into with uh, various parties of the environmental community. So um, given that, this is a tough decision. Uh, Mr. Giesman, you've admonished us in terms of our ability to live with this decision. It is a serious decision. And, uh, but frankly, I go to sleep every night really feeling susceptible to a lot of different threats. And uh, to the extent that I continue to serve on this body, I'm going to be sure that um, whatever process unfolds, and much of it before the CPUC, that uh, we came to be sure that this uh, transition happens responsibly. So um, I am prepared to adopt the staff recommendation.